Okay guys, this is a continuation of the machine bounty and this is part two. If you haven't watched part one, please watch part one. But uh, what we did is we uploaded our shell and we executed it by uh, going to uploaded.config, uploaded it here. And we're just going to do privilege escalation. And this is the most important part in the OSCP. A lot of people who fail so far have been emphasizing that they don't know this part. So that's what I'm going to try to focus a lot of my energy before I even start, start the official OSCP. And there is a detailed guide here that I found from uh, Frisbee. It's very detailed and uh, that's what I've been following. So you get to the front uh, seat to me actually. Uh, trying Windows escalation for Windows um, right here on video. I've only done one successfully and so it's very, very, very uh, interesting. So let's not waste time. Let's go back to our uh, command line. If we listen on port 444, this is what we get signed in and we say LS. That's what you saw in the previous video. And then uh, if you do an LS, you just see a bunch of stuff. But uh, according to our privilege escalation guide, which I, I wish to use, we can say, uh, who am I? System info. So let's do that. Who am I? So I'm uh, mailing, which is not very helpful. System info. And as you can see, guys, we get a bunch of information about um, our Windows Server, the version. So from here, we can start looking for exploits. We even have a build OS version here. So I, I can even just grab this and just come to Google and say Windows Server and paste that and call, say exploits. There you go. We have a right away. We see local privilege escalation. Okay, so yeah, let's ch check it out. That's our Metasploit. So there is a Metasploit module, and you can see that our server is also listed listed here. Okay. My, my best get, bet here is to try to understand what this is doing because I don't want to use Metasploit in the OSCP. Okay, so we know uh, from looking up this exploit, we also have this exe that we can just host and deliver to our host and uh, try to see what, what happens with it. But uh, before I do that, there is other uh, enumeration that I also like to test and also learn because I want to learn as much as I can. What if that wasn't part of there? You can run a who am I with a forward slash priv. This will show us a bunch of information that would be very helpful with uh, the privileges that we uh, can do or impersonate. So let's see what happens here. Okay, so the who am I slash priv, this is what it brings. Interesting, but if you're doing this in hack the box, I uh, just have to warn you this machine is very frustrating It keeps freezing and all that kind of jazz. So if you're on hack the box Be careful running these commands. Um, I suggest you having your own local machine to Try Windows privilege escalation looks like this hack the box easy machines are meant to be run and exploited with Metasploit and they freeze a lot. Let me show you a couple of screenshots that I took while I was working on um, other tests. So as you can see here, this is the first one actually here. This was my first attempt to, when I got shell, I got in, I got LS. The moment I tried to upload previous uh, check, the whole thing froze for like 10 minutes 
so i gave up on that but i was supposed to run this previous uh, script to check for privileges as you can see this is the command i ran just scraped on me so very frustrating especially if you're trying to make progress so i just have to kind of warn you there and over here the, the same thing happened uh actually this time when it succeeded it failed and i'd wait 15 minutes to see this access denied message so that was ridiculous here's my second attempt as you can see i was trying to use a different way to uh, upload my previous and the first time actually it didn't work then when it did work i ran it <laughs> and it froze my machine again so just have to warn you that uh, if you're going to work on uh hack the box and try to do privilege escalation some of these machines for some whatever reason are not meant to be exploited using the ways we're doing people would, if you do it with metasploit which i did uh first to just test make sure that this machine is not crap it works so just have to give you a warning and this is my one note that i keep all my notes and uh, a few tools that i've been taking notes from so if you um, are like me, I take a lot of notes. That's why I make these videos so I can learn a lot. But anyway, let's go back to our machine here. So I uh, remember earlier we Googled the version uh, of Windows that we're running and we found a privilege escalation um, Metasploit module uh, that actually works. I did try it and I think that's what heck the box intended for this machine. But uh, we have to find a manual way because uh, Metasploit is limited within the OSCP. So I have to uh, try to upload my own payloads here and exploit this manually. But the first thing that I wanted to do is I want to change from here to go to the temp directory for this user because I think once you go to the temp directory, so CD users mail in update a local temp, we can actually download things easily without having any big problems so since we want to download a payload um, i've been reading around these uh this one the hot potato windows privilege privilege escalation this actually didn't uh, work for me for some reason the one that worked for me was um I, I did follow a bunch of these, so I learned a ton by just trying and uh, trying and error from all these until uh, things failed. But uh, let me show you the one that worked. So this is not, not mostly me uh, rooting these machines. This is just a bunch of research and seeing the different ways people actually uh, attack these machines. So I'm not in despair, but uh, the lonely potato, which is... Um, a variant of the rotten potato uh, exploit which somebody wrote out there that we can actually use to do privilege escalation this one is the one that worked so I tried for like an hour for an easy machine I thought that was really ridiculous but at least I learned a ton but so what I did was um, if we go in here save file and if I go to my downloads here, I should find that file. I want to copy it to my home because that's where what I use for my for for hosting everything. Then from here, I want to get it to my machine here. And to do that, I need to launch my Python web server. Oh yeah, it's still running. So my Python uh, web server is still running here. Let me just stop it and start it again so you can see. So it's simple Python. I really like this one compared to the Apache one, but I've heard that I have to know both because sometimes this doesn't work, Apache works, and sometimes Apache doesn't work, this works, so I need to know both. But for now, it's running. All I need to do is come here and accept copy that um rotten potato exploit and see if it works okay so in order for me to download that file let me just bring my kali back i don't know what happened there i'm going to need to run this command here 
So what I'm doing is I'm calling this new NetWeb client so that we can download my file. Uh, you can see this in the cheat sheet that I showed you earlier. This is one of the suggested ways. I did try the other ones to download. This is the second option that I tried. So now I know two ways. The first one I showed you earlier and this also works. I'm downloading this from my Python server, HTTP server to user mailing. I'm naming it the same way, msf.rotenpotato.exe and it's going to be in the temp folder, which I'm already in. So I can do an enter. And if I go to my Python, I should see something happen here if it actually works. All right, as you can see, my server says rotten potato was uploaded with error code with the code 200. So we know that we got it there. And since I'm already in here in my temp, I can do an ls. I should see there it is rotten potato. But this is not all I need. Um, I learned quickly that I cannot just execute it. I need actually a BAT file. Um, I tried to execute it and it didn't work. So I actually had to spend some time online to see like how I can actually uh, execute it. So this is we run rooted potato. We need to invoke our reverse TCP using our local shell. I mean PowerShell that we edited earlier here. So if I do a less invoke, uh, it's not, uh, I do that see this is what i have here and it tells me everything that i need to do and we just tag it invoke powershell tcp reverse ip address and this is my ip address and port uh since we want a second one let me see if we can edit this to be a different port Okay, let's just edit that PowerShell script quick because I realize that I'm listening on the same port twice. So if I go down, it's just easy for you to see. I wanted to listen on 88888 instead and save that. So it's saved. So if we do our last command one more time, we should see 888 all the way at the bottom. Okay. So we quit that. So to in order for us to be able to you know, get that to our other server, let's just uh, say, let's bring it as a BAT file. Then once we bring it as a BAT file, we will ex execute that bat file, BAT. We execute that BAT file in conjunction with our privilege escalation one. So once it's done, we quickly invoke the second one. This this was a pretty neat uh, tool that I learned as well while goes th going through this. So I'll be showing you more about this. So to do that, let's create this BAT file go between vi and gedit uh, shell dot bat and i'll show you what i put inside there then from here i want this bat file to be able to download my invoke folder let's do an edit paste so this is what i'm calling i'm calling powershell.exe the same new object so that we can download from this location invoke powershell tcp one as you can see and um we can just um escape right and quit and like i said if we do an ls here you should see our invoke powershell here so we want to get this uh, bat all the way to our machine as well so 
we do just like what we did earlier let me just write it down so this is the same command to download um, files from our python shell new object you've seen this before the only difference is now it's shell.bat instead of the first one if i do that let me check make sure that this actually worked yes it did my script told me that it worked so if going back here if i do an ls i should see my shell.bat okay so now that we have everything in place we have our shell.bat which uh calls our reverse shell python script and then we also have our rotten potato that does our dll uh, privilege escalation the moment of truth is we have to call both of those by running this command if we if we say users we just go to the location where they are and then we run it with that one let's see okay i forgot to listen on my port i do this all the time where i'm almost at the end and i forgot to listen so i need to do my netcat negative l v and p i'm listening on all eights this time then i need to go back to my machine and run my reverse show one more time Let's see what happens here. Okay. I did start an RPC connection. Okay, look how stupid this is. I put five eights here in my invoked PS1. No one my share was not coming. Attention to detail. Attention to detail. Okay. Now <laughs> if I go back here. Um, but before I do that, I like to do another netcat. Clear. If I do a netcat, negative L V N P eight 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 eight. Then go back to my machine. Let me run my command one more time. enter i think i need to delete my file and re-upload it all right so we ran it and as you can see we are back and get uid right away okay that's okay <laughs> who am i anti-authority system so we got root guys we got root after struggling i struggled a lot in this one i need more practice for this and like everyone else windows privilege escalation is difficult so we are anti-authority system i don't need to go and find this flag i know i can now but um what i did just to recap went in there uh tried to upload my enumeration scripts this machine crashes if you try to follow along it will crash on you don't get all frustrated it took me an hour to realize that then um we found out that we can use rotten potato to actually just um escalate our privileges which was really good um i'll be doing more of these and if they keep crashing on me i'm not going to waste too much time I would have to find a way to practice this locally but guys if you like this content as you can see um, give me a subscribe it's definitely not easy but I hope you learn something otherwise I'll see you in the next video